Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to send any of your character creator for 3D avatar into Blender with the correct setup. Now you can see this is my Blender 4.1 for everything. It already have a correct setup. For example, if I want to rotate the eyeball, I can just rotate by using this bone. And you can see this avatar, it can open the mouth so that you can create any of the lip sync animations by using the blender. At the same time, just click the face back to the object mode, click the face and we can check the facial expression shape key. It is here. All of the shape key can work properly. So at the beginning, I'm using the character creator for 3D avatar. This is a really awesome character creator for any of the 3D humanoid avatar. And you can get it from freedom3d.net. It's here, this website. And you also can get more Blender and Unreal Engine tutorials just from freedom3d.art. One of another website that created by me. All right, so start from now, I'm going to show you the step-by-step. So now I'm going to close the Blender's project file and everything start from beginning. Let's say if you already finished design a 3D avatar in Creator Creator 4, the first step, what you are going to do is just export it as FBX with a certain setting. Click File, Export, FBX. Then choose the cloth character. At here, the target tool preset first you must select Blender and then turn on the setting here. Then the FBX option you choose mesh only. We don't want the motions. Then tick embed the texture. Then the install LOD you must make sure you activate it. Merge material. You choose merge material. Do not choose the remesher. So this is wrong. We choose the merge material. Then you scroll up and down here until you can see merge opacity to diffuse texture. This one you must turn this on. This is important because in Blender we just want to have a diffuse texture with the opacity map. Some of the zones will be transparent so that it will reflect the opacity. Then scroll down until you can see the embed motions. If you want a T-Post, you can just tick here and make sure it is T-Post. If you don't, don't tick this, then it is the default post just like an A-Post. So I will choose T-Post because it would make my life easier. I will choose T-Post. Next up, just click Export, click OK. And I'm going to choose the desktop. I right click to create a new folder. Name this as model. Then the file name, I'm going to name this as model as well. This is just a, de a, a demo. I click save. And now we have to wait for a while because it is exporting the FBX with the correct setting. Now this folder is still empty. You need to be patient. Just wait for a few seconds. It is going to export the FBX at here. At this process, the character creator for already baked all, all the materials into just one single texture. At the beginning, in character creator for there are so many materials included: the hair materials, the brow, the eyebrow materials, the eyes materials. For every single cloth, it has its single material, but. After you export in my way, it already exports as just, just one single material. Everything already baked into one. So it is easier for you to set up the material in Blender. Now the FBX is ready. We are going to open the Blender. This is Blender 4.1, the latest version of the Blender today. First, as demo, I'm going to just click and press A and press delete button to delete everything. Then Next, I just click File, Import, FBX from my desktop, the Models folder, Model. 
double click it. Now you can see it really imported into Blender. The first step, just turn on the texture to see everything. And the first step is to set up the material. Because of all of the materials texture already baked into just one, so it is really easy to set up. Just click any part of this or any anywhere. Then just go to material, then scroll down. You can see the blend mode is the shadow mode is opaque and the blend mode is alpha blend. Just change it to become the alpha clip. Or you can change it to alpha hash. Everything this is just one click finish setup. Now everything already set up properly about the material. Next is the skeleton. But before that, we are going to check the fascia. Click the face, go to check the shape key. For all of this shape key, it already worked properly. Then that means you can manipulate the facial expressions, the facial expressions, keyframes. All of this shape key, you can set the keyframe so that you can make the facial animations. All right, so everything success. We are going to check the skeletons. All right, remember the first, the first step to set up the skeleton properly. You can see the armature. We are going to name this properly. We don't leave a skeleton with the name armature. So click and press, oh, double click it. Name this as model 01. Right. Next, once you already select it, click here, then choose viewport display. Just make it in front and we are going to have a check. Display as octahedral, you can change it to become stick as well. So next, we are going to test the, the eyeball. First, I will just go to the post mode and select the eye bone. Now you can see the eyes can, can be rotated. That means you can set some keyframes for your 3D animations that related to the eyes. And this is another eyes. Right. Next, we are going to test the mouth. You have this bone. Then we try Right, this is the jawbone that you can manipulate the lip sync animations, mouth talking animations. Right. Next, we just back to the post mode now. Set it become octahedral, and we just test some of the body parts. That's a bone that I should select it. Alright, for this time I make it a stick. This is easier for me to, to see. How about this? Not this. There are two bones overlap at here. Should be from behind. I click it. Not this. I switch back to the octahedral. You can see some overlapping here. All right. This is the correct. Sorry, not this. This bone. This is the correct bone. We should click from here. Alright, this is the correct bone. Same as the hand, you must make sure you choose the correct bone. So this is the wrong bone. Just another overlapping. This one. We try. Alright, this is the correct bone. To manipulate the hand the shoulder as well so now in this full demo i already successfully import the character creator for 3d avatar or any of the 3d avatar that you design in character creator for import it into blender 4.1 and it is ready for you to create 3d animations any facial expressions lip sync related in your blender 4.1 3d animation software 
Right, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!